Hey, this is AJ from BleedingEdgeSecurity.com uh, giving you another video here about forensics and using WinHex. Uh, basically, what we're going to do today is going to be real short and sweet. We're going to uh, open up a hard disk, look for some data, and modify the data. So, go to Tools. Uh, you're going to go to Open Disk, select the hard drive, click OK. And once it's open, we're going to take a volume snapshot, which is a new image of what the hard disk looks like. And uh, the last one, I'm not sure how old it is, so we need to go to Specialist, Revine Volume Snapshot, hit the checkbox for take a new one, and click OK. This will take just a few seconds. And it's going to make sure that we're looking at an up to date version of the hard drive. Uh, its image, if you will. Minhex doesn't actually modify, it does, well, it does modify us, but. It, it actually makes a copy um, of the disk called a snapshot to look at when you're working and then as you save it saves onto the hard disk so right here you can see that there's been one file created since the last snapshot now we're going to go to documents and settings and go to our user profile and the desktop because we've created a file here that we want to try and recover and we're going to search for the text this can take a long time uh, I'm not even gonna lie okay look it's done I don't know if you can tell but right here and it's probably gonna be hard for you to tell that I've highlighted it but right here we've got the text now what we need to do is go to options edit mode right now we're in read only mode well, we can't actually make changes to the hard drive in read-only mode, so we're going to go to in-place mode, and you're going to get a warning when you click OK. All right, it's going to say that modifications are written to the disk without prompting you. We know that because we know what we're doing. We're pretty responsible. At least we like to think we are. So, there's our file name right here. Now, let's see all the data around it these are this is the data that used to reside on the desktop and a lot of these are links uh, that have been deleted but the, there's they still exist on the hard drive because uh, as you know when you delete a file it doesn't actually get rid of it permanently it simply tells the operating system that you're no longer using it and that it can overwrite the file if it needs the space but until the operating system needs the space guess what this stuff stays on the hard disk. It's forensically uh, still recoverable with certain programs, WinHex being one of these programs. Okay, so we can copy, edit. Now see how, what I did? I highlight the data that I want to modify. I click, I go to edit, I can go to modify data. And here you can modify this, this, and this or you can do this again highlight your selection right click again this time go to edit but go to fill block under fill block you can fill with hex uh, values or pseudo random number generator and you can select the amounts of passes you want to do and click OK and as you can see right there the data is gone watch that again Okay follow this cursor select here edit fill block watch this area right here see that it overwrote the entire block right there with pseudo random data so that's how you do it uh, with WinHex if you know where a file you're wanting to securely erase is you use this document window here to navigate to the folder it was in do a search for the, some text, either the file name or maybe some data that was inside the file, click OK, do your search. When the search is done, you can go here, verify that that's what you're looking for. And if you're not sure, I wouldn't delete it because you can really mess something up. Or if it's not the search you wanted, you can hit Control F, tell it to search down again and keep searching, searching, searching until you find the one you want. Then when you find it, you highlight it with a cursor, you right click, go to Edit fill block 
and then pseudorandom data. That's about all there is to it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe it'll give you a little bit of insight on how to uh, use WinHex, especially for secure deletion and file verification.